Here's a fun fact. Did you know that you can install the VMware Horizon View agent on a physical PC or workstation? You can. Hey everyone, I'm Stephen Wagner with the Tech Journal at stephenwagner.com. I wanted to create a short video today to talk about installing the VMware Horizon View agent on a physical PC or workstation. Uh, this is a, uh, we could call it a feature that was originally released with VMware View 7.7. Uh, when I was planning on doing an upgrade in my own infrastructure in my home lab, I kind of noticed it one day in the release notes when I was uh, preparing to do this upgrade. So I was pretty curious about it. Um, as you all know, VDI is a big hobby of mine. And uh, so when I saw this, things started running through my head. I started thinking about remote access. I started thinking about companies that were adopting VDI but haven't fully deployed it. I thought about uh, deploying it in POCs. I thought about... Um, IT people using it, for example, that, that was one of the biggest things. Typically when a company implements VDI, they're looking to, uh, some do it to create a work from home solution for their employees, and this was even before COVID. Um, other companies uh, implement VDI just for the perks of uh, doing virtual desktops for, uh, for their corporation. There's cost savings if you have uh, enough users and if you do it right. Um, but uh, anyways, I had to try it out. So I decided to write a blog post, and this video supplements that blog post, um, about the requirements, what it supports, what it doesn't support, and generally just how to get it up and running. A uh, few of the requirements is uh, you need Windows 10 Enterprise, and uh, you need to have a physical PC, you have to have VMware Horizon licensing, and you have to create a manual desktop pool for the computers that are running the, uh, the Horizon agent. Uh, for physical PCs. Um, the Windows 10 Enterprise is a must. I've had a lot of people reach out on my blog. Um, they're having issues getting it going. You need Windows 10 Enterprise because of the way that it handles multi-sessions. Um, unfortunately, I think a couple people got it working in some other scenarios, but uh, why not just set it up properly? Um, now, the cool thing is, is that it works with Blast Extreme, so you get the uh, H.264 or H.265 compression, um, and it also supports the uh, Direct Connection plugin for uh, VMware View, which means that if you don't have a connection server, you can use the direct connection plugin and actually just connect directly to the machine. Um, it does support dual displays, and it actually works fantastic, and it actually supports 3D acceleration as well. I can't remember if I mentioned that already or not. Um, essentially, all you do is you just install the agent on your physical PC, uh, create that manual desktop pool that I mentioned, uh, add the machine, entitle the user to the pool, and assign the user to the physical machine. Uh, as soon as that's done, they're up and uh, ready to go, and you can connect and, um, and use that machine like you would a VDI workstation. Now, the use case scenarios for this are, are pretty sweet. Um, in my case, even though I use VDI as my daily driver, it's still nice to have access to a physical PC in case if something happens um, or you need access to something or your VDI environment goes down. It's especially handy for me with my home lab because I'm always experimenting with so many things. Sometimes I kill the environment. So if, uh, if I roll something out and then I have to leave the house and all of a sudden my network goes down, I can jump in remotely and connect and uh, access that physical machine. Um, I also noticed that it works, uh, I, I, in my own opinion, I believe it works better than RDP. It's nice to have the connection brokered by Horizon View. So you can just use that VMware Horizon View client on all your machines. I already have it installed. I use it for VDI. And, uh, you know, for example, with RDP, when you connect to a computer with RDP, you never want to access it over the internet. You have to jump over VPN, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. With using this method, you can actually just connect with uh, the Horizon View client like you would with uh, with the VDI session. You've got your UAG, your Unified Access Gateway deployed. It takes care of all that. No VPN, uh, no BS. It's, uh, it's just a really smooth environment. Um, and it's nice too for IT. So, you know, you can have your IT workstations loaded up. They can connect to their existing machines or you can connect your instant clones. Um, th th there's just a whole bunch of use cases for this. One thing that was really interesting is that I wrote this blog post before COVID-19 happened and it did catch uh, some traction. But then as soon as COVID-19 happened with the big uh, work from home push, um, the views on this specific post just absolutely exploded. There was a lot of companies that purchased VMware Horizon licensing and they were getting ready to actually deploy VDI. Um, and uh, thankfully, I, I believe it was Brian Madden who picked up my post and shared it on his blog. Thank you very much, Brian, for sharing that. Um, and uh, a lot of companies, just to get up and running, they actually deployed the Horizon agent on these workstations as a work from home 
solution. And so there was actually, from what I understand, uh, quite a few large purchases of VMware Horizon licensing just to enable this work from home. It, it, it's a beautiful solution. So anyways, I just wanted to share this with you. Please make sure that uh, you like and subscribe. Um, there's a link to the actual blog post in this video. Feel free to leave comments, uh, feedback. Let me know what you want to hear about in future videos or posts on the blogs. Thanks very much and have a great day.